Thanks, Scott. Today, the Department of Justice says there is no case against Corrections Corporation of America, the Department of Correction, or elected officials. It's the conclusion of a probe into allegations of corruption and fraud. Jake Melder is live in studio with details. It was understaffing in the Idaho Correctional Center that led to beatings and prison riots. Staff at the Department of Correction blamed the problem on CCA cooking the books, but the DOJ says that there's not enough evidence to prosecute. Based on our review of the evidence, we are closing this case without prosecution. Following a 15-month investigation, U.S. Attorney Wendy Olson says no criminal conduct was done inside the Idaho Correctional Center. The prison was nicknamed Gladiator School by inmates for the frequency and brutality of beatings and riots inside. A lack of guards at the prison has been blamed as the cause of the violence. Investigations found staffing records sent to the state were inaccurate, but the search for deliberate fraud came up short. The FBI's detailed and thorough investigation did not produce evidence of a federal criminal violation. Rather, the evidence showed that the false staffing entries could be attributed only to relatively low-level CCA employees. The feds took up the investigation over concerns state police were delaying proceedings. Today's announcement also cleared ISP. While these miscommunications ultimately gave rise to suspicion of an effort to delay, hinder, or influence a state criminal investigation, such miscommunications, unsupported by other evidence, do not rise to the level of criminal conduct. With that, the criminal investigation into CCA's conduct in the state is closed, and no charges will be pressed. The State Department of Correction has since taken control of managing the prison. CCA also reached a settlement with the state for $1 million resolving the understaffing issue. Live in studio, Jake Melder, 6 on your side.